squared. Uh, we're going to do it enough times that, um, that I think we'll get the hang of it here, but it's very, very important that you memorize that because you'll be using it all throughout calculus for lots and lots and lots of different kinds of problems. So let's say for our next problem, we have f of x is equal to x over x plus 1. x over x plus 1. So let's take the derivative. So what we'll have is f prime of x will be the bottom x plus 1 times the derivative of the top. I'm going to write the top and put the derivative mark to remind me to take that derivative later. Minus the top times the derivative of the bottom put that mark to remind me to take that later over the bottom squared. So we followed our rule exactly and once you do it a few times you won't even have to refer back to that general rule you'll just remember, remember it. f prime of x is equal to x plus 1. What is the derivative of x? I think you can convince yourself from our previous lessons that's just 1 because there's a 1 in front uh, there. And then you'll have a minus and you'll have x. What is the derivative of this term? Well, this the derivative of x is just 1. The derivative of the constant is 0, so it's quite simplified there. And we'll divide by x plus 1 squared. So now we're getting basically down to the answer at this point. So what we'll have is f prime of x is equal to, this is just multiplied by 1. So on the top, I'll have x plus 1 minus x over x plus 1 squared. And so I'm finally ready to write the answer down. f prime of x is equal to, we'll have the x cancel out with the negative x, so we'll just have 1 over x plus 1 squared. So the derivative is 1 over uh, x plus 1 squared. So again, bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. And at that point, you just take those derivatives the way we, we've uh, discussed already and flow through uh, with everything else. So I've alluded to this before, but I want to make sure that you really understand. I'm going to kind of give you another little statement here just to make sure you know. This quotient rule is nothing new, okay? It's nothing any more complicated than what we've been doing before with the product rule. Let me show you a little more explicit.